Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Oh my god. This is not a problem we foresaw. I was going to call you guys the analysts. I feel so much better that he actually used our names. I know, I agree. So, an interesting tidbit here for you guys that didn't catch the part here. Couldn't have since you were watching Slacks and Company. Because this is an all pick match, of course, you have to pick your heroes in time or you lose gold. And Dendi, and I believe it was. It was Roger, right? Yeah. Lost maybe, I want to say, 10 to 12 gold. A little bit more, I'd say. Okay. So, they didn't want to remake, because it's a hassle. Who cares at the end of the day? Yep, and Sindarin apparently is making the rules up as he goes. He says remakes cost 1,000 moon bucks. <laughs> I don't know about that one. I'll have to consult the rulebook after the game. Navi being good sports, of course. But yeah, something to keep in mind, of course, for the players, anybody that's watching, watching. that is, is a, a player, player. Pick, pick your hero, hero please. please. I beg of you. That's good advice. What happens if you pick a hero that is one of those heroes? Oh. I thought of that. We're gonna I don't... investigate this after the game. What does the rule book say? The rule book says nothing. It says mm. we're allowed to change any rules we want. That's because there is no rule book. Technically there's a page rule book. Oh, okay. Very dry rules. Alright. Mako though, gonna be playing the Bueno Mancer and Playing, the like, like, start so it's, it's an interesting change the way, way TPs work. work. 10, Ten seconds extra cool down. Down. Yep. You can't TP and block your own creep. It's, uh... Stay back like I, I feel like it's a change that makes the level 1 engagements more stale. Right? Before we'd see these crazy level 1 fights with, like, 5 heroes invading bounty runes. People trying to make all these crazy aggressive plays, and then now it's... It's kind of discouraged with that change, right? But, um, I don't know. It, it, it's, I, I liked the level one fights quite a bit. It was very, very interesting. I will miss them. Oh, God. You know, maybe they'll still be there, but not as common. I don't know. Time will... That's right. And, of course, if you're just joining us in Midas mode, you get extra moon bucks for random and heroes inside of their feet. They, they first, first random, random the shadow demon and then into a Medusa. Pretty insane. insane. Bottom, bottom lane. lane. General. General. He is completely he is blocked. blocked. Yeah, yeah, I guess crush up crush Kazoo. Up Kazoo. 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 Right click with the Fly Snatch. First blood going away with Minute B. Alright, nicely done. When the disruption is cast on the corner, then the terrain, you can walk in and block him. But yeah, so Medusa and Shadow Demon both random, which that was an actual double pick there for the Navi side. Down bottom again. Same combo, but oh, General has the uh, Decrepify level 1. Oh, he's getting blocked completely. Mato even comes in with the blink, has level 1 mana break as well. This guy's a race car, though. Mana burn. 
There's the double crush though, that's a lot of damage. The general looks to be in a lot of trouble here. Mato with the blink in one second, the crap fight keeping alive with the health out. Should be good to go, but it's a lot expended. Yeah, even though they didn't die, right, they used a lot of their resources to stay alive there, so. Lane looks pretty good for Minter Feed. They have quite an interesting draft, right? Uh, we were talking about the random Medusa and the random Shadow Team. They have Medusa and Anti Mage on the same team. These are uh, typically your big one position heroes, right? That take over the game once they acquire enough farm, but. Oh, we have a pause here. What does this mean? Could it be time? There we go, boys. I apologize, everyone. Goodbye. And we're back. Thanks for Thank God back we're back. That beautiful break. Chris flies in a lot of trouble here. Mid or Weeha on Midder feed, playing one of his favorite, favorite heroes, heroes. Danger. Uh, you know, this is a success with it lately. lately. You know, the javelin changes and the talent changes are pretty nice, right? Is in a lot of trouble. He's stuck inside the rope. Oh right boy. He'll die to Roche himself. Stuck with the man with the golden hands. I really don't like that golden cousin. Well, or pronounced. you can't say that. This is Midas mode. It should be more gold for Midas mode. <laughs> there you go. You love the gold. What do you think of this matchup, though? In theory, 1v1. Tinker versus. Oh, Tinker Obviously. smashes this lane. Smashes? Smashes big time. Takes a big fat steamy dump on this lane. Really? Yep, it's bad. 9 CS versus 5 and 0, so I would... You know, sometimes the dual lanes kind of benefit the weaker hero, but not in this case with the mana burns coming in. There's no real, like, uh... Well, actually, if he lands the Impale, there it is! And the mana burn is here to work, even though it's level 1 of the lasers enough to secure Dendi the kill. He is a little bit too late. Could get a crush off with the help of the tower. Nyx Assassin here, Roger. Doesn't look like he will fall as he makes it to the high ground. Up. Yeah, when you pick a Medusa, you think of count like the first two heroes. I think of like Anti Mage on a team. Yep. And of course Nyx. Probably the easiest counter. You just spam that eventual level four mana. Burn. Yep. Also with the new split shot, right? You can't turn it off. It's super easy to spike characters oh, off true. of it. So it's an even bigger counter now. Is there any kind of build that you would prefer to go for Medusa against something like? That? Um, honestly, there's not really any items you can build that help you. You can go for, like, the Dragon Lance, it doesn't give you any intelligence, so it doesn't amplify the mana burn. But typically you see items like uh, Scotty picked up on Medusa, which give you a lot of ints, so mana burn hits you even harder. There's not really a good answer to it, it's just, uh, it's a shitty situation that you kind of have to deal with and hope you can get far enough ahead, because, honestly, Medusa's talents are pretty good, right? At level 20 you get 800 mana, so. Nako, you get out here, Kezu. Following up, has another crush to work with. We'll probably, probably use it here. Any second, second now, there you go. A couple more right clicks. Right -click -click -click. Power actually misses. misses. Weeha we probably hasn't played this game. I'm allowed, I'm allowed to, make to make fun of Weeha and Cinder, by the way, because we're very good turn. No more flames. Not flames, they're the love taps. Alright. Well, you're but love tapping out of control. Wind Ranger, Wind Runner is uh, mid lane. We're not actually here. Again. Oh, the damage. Yep, Sandy just rips right through him. So I was, I was gonna say that uh, sometimes in like the weaker matchups, right, like when you see Shadow Fiends, the dual lane eventually benefits the, the weaker hero, right? It prevents the aggression from the other hero, but Medusa's not a hero with any sort of kill threat. Especially over here like Tinker, right? They can't even really harass the support hero. As you can see, this Medusa dies from full HP off of the Impale Mana Burn combo. So I don't really know what Medusa can do to get back in this game. It's like a slow, steady recovery where she dips out into the jungle and farms what she can. But uh, she's rationing for whatever she can get at this point. Surprised they didn't end up banning Nyx. I guess that was the second pick they couldn't have done. They random. Yep. You know the uh, the panel. They were talking about some. Yeah. Uh, that's right. The panel. Mm-hmm. It's uh, Trent Purge and the other guy. <laughs> the other guy. Yep. Yeah. Sid the TP out here. It looks okay. They're talking about uh, there weren't really any bad randoms, right? It was the the OG draft. But uh, Nyx. Super, super good against Medusa. And usually it's in the later stages of the game, but this is also in the early stages of the game with the uh, tankers. The model kind of scares me out of that. 
very powerful level one mana void. What a, what skill. a skill. Oh god. Worst level one ultimate in the game, I dare say. Model blinks away to safety. So is this a game that not to harp on this dude, but for the random I should say. If Roger steals his creep and he's gonna casually walk with, but he's Roger gonna get hit a lot. In, oh boy! But yep, the old uh, teleport away from the no stun strategy very effective here <laughs> when only slaughtered on Wind Ranger. That's kind of a that's one stone gaze. It's pretty good though. I guess that was also a mana void. Ooh, big TP cancelers. Expect a BKB though. Game that you kind of have to get it at some Um, it is. Well, so the thing about BKB is it's good because obviously you can't cast spells on a magic green target, but it's like a, a hero that isn't very. She doesn't get in there, right? She sits in the front and waits for the enemy to jump on you, and uh, Navi's lineup is very non committal. So because they can just keep kiting in and out to not really commit to going on this Medusa, it might not be that effective. So I, I really don't think he's going to get it unless he gets super far ahead and they're trying to steal your base or something. Are we going to see him more? Old school Lincoln's type build, maybe. I would I think so. Mana burn? I would definitely think so. Not mana burn, really laser. Want to go that much anymore. Bottom lane. Nether blast onto two. Kezu attempt to get out. No sprints under six seconds, but does have crush. Trying to juke his way up. They will find him with the nether blast though. His model can't really do much to his teammate. Yep. On his way to his battle fury right. Friends. Oh, yeah, nice exactly. and pale. Mana burn again and laser. That was with okay. the uh, the mana shield off there too, so we caught him at the right time around the trees and the fog. Nicely done. And here we haven't really talked about yet is Weeha. Uh, talked a bit. Some changes coming through. The one that comes to mind though is the rate that was fixed, not fixed, but buffed from point six to point eight. That's all right. Close to a melee hero. Game breaking, right? I mean, those kind of changes, I, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> no, it may not seem like that big of a deal. Stop. The untrained eye, if you will. Roger's gonna mm. run right into Weeha. Alright, Roger's getting the old uh, watch and walk away strategy, but now reinforcements are here. We're gonna have Disruption and Soulcatcher into the crush. He does have Spike Carapace, will attempt to use it and TP out. And will be successful, in fact. Yep, nicely done. Alright. And that's the support rotation for mid or fee. That's They need to make things happen, right? Anti Mage is gonna be left to his own devices to. To weather the storm bottom lane and just farm what he can mid lane they can't really do anything there at all even the mid laner doesn't want to lane there so it's very important they make these rotations work or else they will they're going to get to this point where pugna's pushing in bottom constantly medusa's hitting the jungle and there's just going to be too much pressure on the map for them to deal with they kind of have to pick and choose what they sacrifice and uh, what they want to defend or fight dendy with the, the travel now working towards a soul ring he is quite well for himself He's, He's actually the top of that. That is not very common, I would say. See a tinker at top of that worth at this stage. You definitely think of, uh, yeah, tinker is definitely a hero that whenever someone sees tinker, people flock to him, right? They always want to pressure this guy, delay his boots of travel. He's a very slow uh, hero in the early game. But um, I think mid or feet are running into a bit of a problem with their. Uh, oh, just kidding! A pop taser lands the crush. Which one's Jackal real? Did not connect. Crystalize doing a pretty good job of faking it out. Or did, does he? Weeha is aware of this. He's attempting to go for the kill. They're gonna get him first. Right. He might die, but gets the crush off. Very nice. Nice job targeting the actual hero there, Dendi. Look for the laser. Gets up oh, the, the crabs! I think it's gonna catch Kezu. He's out for safety, so well played here for mid. Yep, nice one. Big kill. They need more of this to get into the game. I have to actually swap the lanes up too. Tomato heads into the mid lane, and they're just giving up this bottom tower. Honestly, nobody can defend this tower. Venom Answer Wards, Pugna blasting it over and over. It is a death trap. All in all, likely we can be untested here. Yep. So mid or feet basically have two one positions, right? They have the anti mage who wants to farm to a certain point, and then comes online Medusa. Same sort of concept, and uh, because of that, they lack this hero that can make moves on the map, right? Radiance it's all in on the support duo. Or even Weeha to some degree. Right, but he's pretty much never gonna leave this lane, right? But if he anything... Only have the most exactly, right? You gotta land the shackle shot, very difficult to do, especially in the... Uh, it's, it's a luck thing, right? It's lane positioning, where the creeps are. Probably gonna have to smoke as well, so... Not reliable whatsoever. Well, considering they have these kind of passive... Uh, I say passive, the model comes in. 
the destruction. Soul Catcher's Rush will not be there. Not yet. It is crystallized. Gets backed up. The model is actually going to have to lose. The rest of the team is going to have to You actually hear the Mana Boy comes in. And that's enough to take out Crystallize for the second time in the last couple minutes. Uh, nicely done again. Two back to back kills on the Phantom Lancer player. Man, Weeha is really a tune. Phantom Lancer. That's twice right. Twice in a row. Tried to fake it out. Fake out Weeha, man. Wowzers, the meteor hammer. Just adds insult to injury from inner feed. It's like, if you're gonna give me this free tower, I'm just gonna sit here in Nether Blast. I might as well get an item that accentuates. Yeah, that comes into effect here, of course. Take a. That was changed recently as well. I'm trying to remember what actually changed. Meteor hammer? It's a. Uh... The stun is 0.25 seconds longer. That's all I know. Maybe the channel time is lowered as well. So is this item good? No. Okay, so this is kind of the taunt, huh? I mean, I this don't know. Is... <laughs> I, I say that with, you know... Well, there it is. Big beauty hammer. Okay. Alright. Fortification's up. Of course, the fortification does not last as long as the deal. Wow. Good damage. My god, without the meteor hammer, this tower would not be dying so fast. <laughs> it's a good thing you picked that up. How timely. Smart money. Well, yeah, Gork level 8 right now and the Medusa has no stone gaze to work for yet. They desperately need to do they have is Kezu to end the stun. He's going to take my character. 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 Find this on the back end. Or Medusa's coming in, everybody run! They're sandwiching him in. The prep fight comes through, this is gonna be the stun, the power shot will not connect. <laughs> For some reason, I, I literally just can't laugh. Can't not laugh when I see that skill. It just looks so ridiculous. Lara getting quite low. He's gonna end up falling here. Gork has pretty much no mana right now. Disruption is quite defensive. Crystallize jumps in though. With the spear and it's Gork attempting to TP out. Should be successful, Crystallize has no real damage yet. Yep. Yeah. They should know there's a ward now because he got the uh, Phantom Rush off in the fog, or what should be fog, but... I don't know, this game is so, so odd, right? Mid or feet are missing this key aspect in the lineup where they can actually make moves and fight. Medusa, obviously not the strongest fighter this game. Anti-Mage, you won't see this dude from their 15, 10 minutes, probably. Good news is he has Battle Fury now, though. That's true. Considering how this game is going, 13 minute Battle Fury, not with Trev, is pretty, pretty good. That is very true. He's doing very, uh, very well. An anti-mage against Tinker. Obviously, Tinker has gigantic mana pools, magic damage. It's very nice, but up top, Roger scouting him out. Oh, he could be fail. Dead. Seeking Missile won't do a whole lot of damage. All right. Perhaps they went a tad bit too early. The Impale's only level two, so not the longest stun. But Dendi almost has a blink dagger for himself. Yep. General getting scouted out. A level four sprint yet? Nope. Kazu, he's gotta get one more level in that sprint. Then we'll oh man. Walk. It looks really cool. They have, oh, there we go. Boo! They should have a voice go along with that. I, I think the one you just made is quite accurate right, for the effect I'm of this. You to use that, that audio. Put inside that item. They don't, they don't need your permission. Are you hello? Where have you been the last? Never mind. A touchy subject. Let's move on. This top tower <laughs> receiving the beat down here. Another blast. Woo, tons of damage. Oh, that's pretty really good. Nice disruption though. The impale though. Another blast, like you said, more than enough. Yep. These towers are completely free for Navi. All right. Mid or feet have no hope of fighting at all. They still need to acquire tons and tons of items. Top lane, Weeha's gonna get caught off. Oh, here's the hammer. Impale into the meteor oh, hammer, it, it will miss. not connect. Oh, oh he is no. dropping quite low. You know, the meteor, it was pretty close. It was close. They needed one more stun. If he didn't move for like a second longer, then it would If you hit. just stand still, it does a lot of damage. Yep. That's for sure. Does it even do a lot of damage? Considerable amount. Not that much experience. Oh, okay, it does, it does. There's the, uh... The initial damage and the damage over time. Okay. I mean, the damage itself is good. Three second channel. Yeah, that's the, that's the letdown. Lies will. 
Now McKenzie's gonna turn this around. He gets the to pays off, but Chris like just rips through the Medusa. There's a Shackle shot. Can they get Dendi? Looks like it might be a trade with that power shot finishing him off. Looks like Kenzie's looking to be next though. Nice disruption, keeping him alive. Chris Life has already surrounded him. And Tomato looks to be next. Look at this. Diffusal blade. Go to work. Wow. Zero. Oh, big shackle. Shackle shot connects, and this is going to be a turnaround here for mid or feet as the mana point secures them the second kill on the core heroes for Navi. Great job, Gunner. But top lane is dead. Yeah, meanwhile, big meteor hammer being dropped on towers repeatedly, non stop action. But oh, don't even call him Pugna anymore. He, he's the meteor. He's the hammer, huh? <laughs> we were talking about the shackle shot perhaps not being the most reliable to save what they're making do with it, making it look real good. Gets disrupted by Cinder and Kezu. Say Nako has the Kurosa pace slide. Looks like he'll finish that off with the Wee Hop Power Shot General. Attempt to TP out. Nope, that's the Meteor Hammer. Oh, I'm sorry, that looks like a teleportation. Oh my god, Medusa dies. And General, with the Soul Catcher applied, looks to be dead next, but Dendi's here to help out. Has all his spells available. Kezu's in a lot of trouble. Oh, here come the crabs. The Meteor Hammer's up at 23 seconds, but we'll just use the Life Drain instead as Dendi comes in. Cinder Drop himself a little bit too late, and we'll just drop to the net. Alright, so fight's not going mid or feet's way at all, and notice or it's it's reasonable, right? Medusa, anti mage you need time. I'm sounding like a broken record at this point because it's it's awful to play Dota like this, right? Sometimes you get an anti mage in your puffs, you know it's a 4v5, you have anti mage and Medusa. It's not a good time, but Okay, lead here from Navi at the Yep. But if you really think about it, even though I, I do despise the Medium Hammer, I know it does like a lot of great, all these space for so much pressure on the end of the team. That's the last time, too. Think Especially of it this way. Them. There is no other item that can do what Meteor Hammer is currently doing. That's true. Well, it should there be. Tomato gets impaled, though. Might be some trouble here. Go catch will be applied to the next one. way to safety. Tomato blinks away, gets a mana void off, canceling Dendi's TP. But he might have just killed himself as a result, and General will take that for himself. As Roger has a throw to pay applied. Fight care face up in one second. Looks like he'll still be fine. Zindran looks to be the sacrificial land for his team. Oh my god. That wasn't even fair. The hammer. If you laugh, you know that the Meteor Hammer has gone off. Like that, Navi has extended to a 7k lead. Oh, Wii's gonna get spotted, Suneko. Just kidding. Wii's the one doing the hunting. There's the impale. He's gonna be mana burn. Suneko getting healed up thanks to General. But the power shot does finish him off fine. That's the first stone gaze we've seen in this game. The first stone gaze, and it was a good one. It wasn't too bad. It saved his teammate. Roger, though. He has a Midas, and he has the. Oh my god, he's. He's very aware of how to play Midas mode. Boom! That, that's it. Boom! Boom! Like, I could do like a but it doesn't... That's true, it, it doesn't like deserve it doesn't that item. I agree with that. It's not quite there yet. Maybe at the end of the game it'll be like that. Yeah, maybe. We're still waiting. Uh, he does have the Kaya, actually, so... That's the 10% spell amp. There it costs cheaper as well. Yep, very nice. Found out here by Crystallize, burning up that mana, gets off the crush. And here comes Dendi, and... Ooh, that's a lot of burst. That's right. continuing to pressure this mid Not really doing a whole lot. That's kind of the story here of mid or feed in this game, it feels like. Everyone's trying to make things happen, but... Oh, oh. my god. We hide in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh, they cancel the Meteor Hammer, but oh alas, he still has life drain. He is fine. This looks to be potentially 2 0 for Navi. It's still whoa, whoa, whoa. 19 and a half minutes in. But Are you trying to call the game at 19 minutes? It's not great. I mean, they do have AM to do get one good fight, get perhaps an item or two on top guys. They can oh. around, but look at the counters they have. They have this fusible blade, they have the mana burn. We're getting completely CC'd this game. General, General they want to continue on. Blade Mail was picked up by Gork. Blade Mail, very, very nice against Pugna. Tons of burst damage. It's gonna be a tier three at 20 minutes in the game. Yep, and this is what you kind of see when uh, your base gets taken too quickly, right? Anti Mage TP's back to clear out the, the plague wards, and that's about it's it. Good farm for him. It is. He's acquiring a very valued 15. Yep. Gets the corrupted fight, has to blink away. Dendi jumps in. Nice play mail though. Dendi is happy to get. Oh my god, the hammer! He gets a double shackle shot into the jump of this model. He gets stunned right off the bat. If he gets blown up, has to buy back into the game. We are getting life drained up. 
no buyback from him. 50 seconds on the deck. Man, Big man avoid. Comes out, but Tomato looks like he's taking more damage than he really dealt out. Decrepify. Perhaps saving his life. Oh, just no. kidding. Will actually fall to the. That was calculated from before when he blinked the in. Another ward, yeah. Because he jumps in, trying to create as much space as he can. But my lord, Dendi has the Dagon Express train in tow, and that is a Barracks bot lane without the tier. I mean, the tier two tower is still up to mid. Yeah, it is, but uh, not for long, right? Imagine Navi are gonna run back down. So. It feels like mid or feet didn't even have a chance to, to start playing their lineup, right? Medusa's running around with phase boots, blade mill, brace turns, and small gear. Boom. Boom indeed. And the anti-mage, same thing, still waiting to get to his Manta stun. Even when he has Manta, he's probably gonna need that next item afterwards before he can actually participate in some of these team fights. I don't know, it's just the uh while it's nice to random to acquire some cash, sometimes it's not the best. Gotta win the game. Fly on to three heroes, Roger. Has a spike carapace activated. Could be in fail into the mana burn, and just like that, Gork is already almost useless. Can you get off the bolt? Crystallize though. Oh, big carapace. Spike carapace on the two into the laser, and that is two kills for Dendi right off the bat. Weeha and Gork dead for 50 seconds. No buyback. Here comes the. No, he doesn't get it off because Kizzy cancels it. Just toss him his own life. It's fine. Tomato canceling the mana burn. Holy Jesus. That is a lot of damage. Double kill with Mana Void, but too little too late. Well, at least they got the pug in there, right? So their buildings aren't gonna die. That Meteor Hammer won't be there. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta look at the positives, right? He TP's into a Spike Carapace. So he may have TP'd into Dale death. Will connect. He might have just TP'd into death, in fact. This illusion is just gonna clean him up. Roger pops the Vendetta. For some more kills, the Sineco just, just jumped on my tomato. The mana drain is coming into effect again. Oh, he's got no mana now. Short distance. He might have set himself up for death. He just really wants Sineco, but will not find it in the end. As Navi are just rolling over this. Yep, Navi looked very good. Even in the previous game, they looked quite strong. But mid or feet, they're not out of it yet. Yeehaw trying to make some big plays, big shack. Oh, there we go. We got some damage with that Maelstrom. Yep, nicely done. Alright. 15k lead. Let's talk talents. What do you think about this 1.75 mana regeneration on Windrunner? It sounds... Why Why not two? Why can't you make it two? Balance reasons, hello? You can't over two in mana regen. It's very important. Dude, I think it's the only talent in the game that's a death regen. Am I wrong? For, for mana regen, you're definitely not wrong. Health regen. 30.5? No, there's not, <laughs> huh? Jesus. <laughs> My god. A little odd for a hero that never pick. It does. Yeah, he did go to the mana regen talent into the 100 attack range. We'll be going four staff. Not sure if he's going to finish a hurricane fight or not. It feels like he needs a little damage. But yeah, the mini sun focus fire at level 25. We probably won't get to that this at this stage. But it was buffed in the last attack by 5%. Of it. Wowzers. Yeah, wowzers indeed. It is. As it jumps in, gets a nice crush off. Jumps into the model, but the prep fight is there. General is a lot of level. Here comes the Stone Gate as well. Cinder looks to be trading his life for. We'll see. <laughs> okay, anybody yet? Because he gets the nice crush again on the Crystallize. Doppelganger's up. There's the Gale into the Poison Nova. It's gonna be a lot of damage over time. Crystallize to continue on Tomato, but finally he's like away. Shackle Shot will connect. Oh, nicely done. He looks to be finally getting a kill here, but it's gonna cost him both the Shadow Demon and Medusa. But All right. Stage, these trades are good. Grand scheme is Yes. Getting kills for them is very, very good. Alright, what That's items it. do they need to pick up to turn this around? What stage will AM or... So, Anti-Mage has the, uh, the Sanj and Yasha, you know, makes them, gives them a little bit of everything. Not sure if that's the, the best item to come back in this game, but who knows, maybe it is. At this stage of the game, he just needs anything, right? When I look through these heroes and I look at their quick buy, nothing convinces me that these will do anything at all. So, perhaps they need even more items. What about Medusa? What about her? She needs another... Oh, yes, like she needs so damage, much. Right? Yeah, she needs a lot of time. It's also like the, she's playing against the uh, some counters, right? You've got the, the mischance from the Tinker, super annoying for a, a hero like Medusa who's not very mobile. 
Um, even Pugna constantly decrypting the Medusa over and over. And then of course the Nyx Assassin, Mana Burn, Carapace. There's just way too much garbage for this Medusa to deal with when she's not far enough ahead to actually be able to stand her ground. It's gonna get worse. It's not like these items are not gonna help Navi either. Right, Roger, right. he has his axe right now. Yep, he, he is, is super rich. But they're gonna go for a surprise Roshan. Roshan Haze and Focus Fire. Alright, nicely done. This is something that uh, yeah, they need. Too late. No bounties being tested this time. They want the win. Okay. So, Roshan obviously is very good. They have a second line, but they are at a 13k gold deficit. Anti-Mage, when you look at the net worth, he's still, still very high up there, right? He's neck and neck with the Tinker, who's at the top. But, um... <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Unfortunately, we had to. Oh, no, we had. There's he got no <laughs> bounty for that. <laughs> he got. He was hyping, guys. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you are smoking, and then he died. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> that's such a wee hot thing to do. Oh, that's awesome, actually. And the lurker is up. Barry's gonna get pounded upon. Head just jumps in and just dies. Yep. Wanting to join his friend Weeha in the grave. Get the blade mail out. How much damage is taking? Yep, he also has the. He's got some spell life still too to help with the blade mail damage. So very nice. I just don't see any. Look at this general giving his uh, Starcraft two buddy the next assassin. Uh, the old oh, here it comes. Oh boy, here it is. Double boom. Oh my Excellent. gosh. Auto jumps in. Finally, we got right off the bat the impale from across the map. Thanks to Roger's agon and scepter and work. Looks to be falling here in all likelihood. He's just dying to range spells. Out. As the Aegis is popped. And now V, Roger <laughs> goes right next to the dead body. He's being pale onto two. Lots of damage, but it's not too much again. Three for nothing at the end of the day. Focus fire comes in, but it just doesn't deal with that. You underestimate his damage. Why? No, he's dead. <laughs> we tried. The rest of Gigi's finally called as Navi. Got off to a really good start, and there wasn't really much that mid or beat to do. Yeah, it's the whole, uh, you know, we have a different meta here in Midas mode, right? There are these heroes that either make or break your draft, and unfortunately this game did not work out. The Medusa felt like quite a big hindrance.